Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Apple just released the second beta of macOS 26.3, and we have a bit of a mystery on our hands. This update came in at 2.76 gigabytes. For a minor beta, that is a pretty hefty download. You'd think a file that big would be packed with new features, but the reality is a little different. Let's dive into what's actually new and what the community is saying over on the forums. Now, you might have noticed I didn't make a video for Beta 1. Honestly, there just wasn't much to talk about besides general performance tweaks. I wasn't expecting much for Beta 2 either, but we did find one specific change. Interestingly enough, the folks over at the Insanely Mac forums have been digging into the system files to see why this update is so large. It looks like Apple is working on a modern audio and modern wireless patch set specifically for Mac OS Tahoe. If you're a Hackintosh user or you use OCLP, the Open Core Legacy Patcher, pay attention. There's an experimental fork of OCLP version 3.00 circulating right now that helps with these new Tahoe wireless drivers. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Some users are reporting that while Wi-Fi is working on certain chips like the BCM43602, Bluetooth is currently broken if you're booting with OpenCore 1.07. Curiously, users on the Clover bootloader aren't seeing this Bluetooth bug, so if your wireless accessories are acting up on this beta, you are definitely not alone. Speaking of performance, Willie Apple ran a quick Geekbench test to see if these system level changes affected the scores. On the previous Beta 1 version, it was getting a single core score of 3,822 and a multi core score of 15,334. On Beta 2, those numbers dropped slightly to 3,685 and 15,325. It's a small dip, probably just a margin of error, but it's worth noting that performance might feel just a tiny bit different in this build while Apple tunes those new audio and wireless drivers. So what's next on the calendar? Today is January 13th. Since next Monday is a holiday in the United States, I don't expect Apple to drop anything on the 19th. Instead, look out for Beta 3 or the release candidate on Tuesday, January 20th. If everything stays on track, we should see the final public release around January 26th or February 2nd. Overall, macOS 26.3 Beta 2 is a massive update under the hood, even if it doesn't look like much on the surface. Between the mail app optimization and the new wireless foundations, Apple is clearly prepping for a big final release. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi has been acting up since the update, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!